All right, ladies. I was actually the other day. I had uh, some guy yell at me more or less in the YouTube comment. He was like, "What? The caster starts the video with all right, ladies? Hashtag cringe." And I'm just like, "Yeah, you haven't really watched my commentary before, have you, my friend?" Anyways, as we go, at least we tried against Fish three four five in the grand final, everybody. It's actually kind of funny. At least we tried. Apparently, they're going for the full tryhard because, well, they are in the grand final. So, this is currently, as you can imagine, the best of one in the qualifier, number one. Uh, again, it is the Lair.gg tournaments, if you guys want to have some more information about the tournament, if you maybe want to participate in tournament number two, number three, number four, and have a chance to not only play against some of the top teams in Europe, but also win some money, then check out Lair.gg. And yeah, have a look at the information right over here. So we got at least we tried a best of one in our qualifier against Fish 3, 4, 5. And should be a pretty entertaining one actually. A little bit of a move already over to uh, A. And what I really, really like is that since the last patch hit, we've now seen a few more plays with Viper. And well, they are going quickly over to be good opening kill here. Cybot goes down and Danze is actually connecting a couple more hits. Tries to rotate back over but gets shut down very quickly by Breach. Kali gets the kill in oh, my eyes are and down. Velox with the counters. We have a 4 versus 3 set up on the map. But I really, really like that good opening here. So that's fun. Now, honestly, this is really a good start, isn't it? There's a lot of fake-outs now around the Viper wall, and we can talk about this in just a bit. But Viper's not the only one who can pet the wall down. Sage got a little bit jealous after seeing that, and was like, I can do that too! Puts the Ice Wall in play, and that stops Roxa for now. Pretty short over here. But they're still rotating over, and Breach might be able to get another quick hit in. Oh, yep! Oh, the headshot, but he can't get the kill! 13 HP for Akali. The thing is, it's not the only one that's moving in. We have even more action now over onto the window. Ah, but a quick kill against him. Kali's still trying to push through. Yeah, falling slowly and steadily. Rox has the last one standing with his friend. Team. Oh, ho, ho, that nearly was a double kill. But the lead for Fish 3 4 5. Ah, gets that frenzy over real quickly, but of course, they got the money now. But I was talking a bit about Viper. So Viper is actually really useful now with her wall because she simply go, gets the wall through pretty much all the walls and you can cordon off complete parts of the map. And it's really nice because you can just simply drop the wall, you can, you know, reuse it, reactivate it. And that allows you to fake a lot of positions and in some cases, as we just see now, fall back onto the original position just to use the wall in proper fashion. Full on shoddy setup by the way, there's shorties everywhere right now for the red team, so a way more defensive position for the defending team. I mean just look at the shit that we're seeing over here, they're both sitting in the top. I mean literally Roxa and his ally both sitting in there trying to get the shoddy damage in. Danny gets the kill against Danzy, so that's a one versus one as they're trading here. But it's literally both in the tuna tube, just trying to see if they can make a kill. That's one down, nice. It's a pretty good eco round, honestly. I mean, this is not really an expensive weapon. That's 200 credits down the drain. Some easy money we made, okay. They're rotating over towards uh, A, and that's a very different situation right now. I like that. It's a really smart move because this is a 3 versus 3 setup. So this is actually perfect. At least we tried. They came in and they said, guys, we lost the first round. We need to play eco. And what did they do? They simply moved in and said, we're going to play shorties. We're staying super deep and we are just playing angles. That's all we're doing right now. And they got a 3 versus 3 situation going for themselves because of those shorties. What did Fish 3 for 5 do? They simply switched the bomb point, uh, bomb site. And therefore, forcing the opponent to, you know, just move out of those no corners target. and try and retake. And a shorty is fantastic if you get pushed into. It's not really a fantastic weapon if you need to retake uh, different spots. So that move from B over to A through the teleporter was a pretty fantastic play from Fish345. And as far as eco rounds go, that was a highly successful one for at least we tried. So yeah, they're really trying here, yeah, you can tell. Now, there's a little bit of a swap around when it comes to all of the weaponry that's being put into play now. We have a Vandal, we have a Phantom for Fish 345. 
but also really really good weapons of course now for at least we tried so this is usually the round that you want to retake when you want to make your play but yeah and i still love that team name it's a fantastic team name here for sure mystic over here is starting to push in i'm going to keep my eye a little bit in this round still on viper because i really love the utility that you get out of the viper board. i mean just look at this it's, it's absolutely perfect you can play around it you can set that up easily through the wall and can then also just simply say, all right, we're going to play this out now uh, towards A. You fake them a little bit. And we've seen that in previous games, actually, already played by them. So it seems that at least on Bind, Viper is becoming a very solid option in the meta, at least for some teams. I mean, a lot of them are just going to experiment now. But I guess time will tell how much they're going to use this. So already in position here, Danze is in position for another quick smoke over there. It's going to try and use that. Yeah, it's playing this out a little bit, just aiming that out, as you can see. We're going to keep our eye on that, just so that if you guys want to replicate that, you can do that for yourself. And, well, let's see. Everybody is just going to hookah. All right. That's the clip. Gets bombs in. That's the second. Gets the wall. Uh-oh. There's a raise old out. And they're using that right away. And off we go. And just look at the position of that Viper Smoke. Perfectly over towards spawn. And there's only two players still standing, and both of them are sitting at spawn now from at least we tried. And in a 5 versus 2 setup, uh, uh, ain't happening! They're not gonna make a move in for this one. This is just a little bit too much to handle, and they know it too. They can't retake from that position, and so they just save the weapons. Position themselves around the teleport a little bit in the bathroom on A, but little else to do, to be honest with them. And I suppose that we have a few weapons stolen away as well. Yeah, exactly that's the case. So coming in, Fish 345 didn't really had that much to toy around with. They only had two big rifles. And now, they of course, took over the remaining ones. But yeah, Viper Ball, pretty sexy on this one. Playing around with it a little bit. And as I said, we're going to keep our eye a bit on Danzy at least for the first half. Just simply because we're going to take a closer look at the way Viper plays out on this map right now. Which is, as I think, pretty interesting. So now, three points against zero. Fish 3 for 5 looking good there. Of course, again, you gain points through your position within the tournament that then eventually will qualify you for the monthly final. But this is another position we're going to talk about in just a second. Usually, um, if he does the same thing that we've seen in the previous round, Good weaponry, by the way, for uh, at least we try it. They still had quite a bit of money. One SMG. But yep, it goes down. There we go. Gets. Uh, here's usually where he puts the, the walls through. So just to fake on, on B again. Yeah, take the camera out already. That one was important. And everybody else is currently sitting in. Uh, and uh, in, in uh, the bathroom. And there we go. You see? Wall comes up. Can activate the wall. And now B doesn't really know what's going on. B is in a position where have, they have to question, hey, are they going to make a move here? Are they not going to make a move here? Instead, here comes the attack through the bathroom. And go for the blind. Great headshot. Fantastic play by Roxa. Um, as he takes Danzy down, he himself falls as Boaster gets the kill here. And he can definitely boast a little bit for the area. shots that he's pulled off today. But it's a 3 versus 3, so all of a sudden, him coming through window, there's a chance that he gets the attack to the wall. Oh, and he himself takes some damage. Oh, ho, 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 daddy boy! Nice, good kill for him. Last man standing. Oh, the Omen is still alive as they are trying to retake here. This might just as well be the first point for the defenders. At least we tried. There's the smoke. Danny's still alive, and he comes in for the kill. Gets another one for his team. But the defenders with a point on the board as they were able to go for the defuse here. Yeah, good setup. Nicely done. Awesome. So, pretty good setup. But again, we're coming back to uh, our attacking team. Back to Fish 3, 4, 5. And once more, back to Dan X. So this is really the moment. If he is consistent with that wall over on B, then they can never really know what's happening. That's so much vision denied through the wall alone. And obviously, you're also making the opponent gamble a little bit. And they are already starting to just push over. Try to take the entrance here. Long is getting pushed a little bit as well. Should see the wall in just a moment. Yeah, race takes over and protects it. Here comes the wall. Once again, same angle, pretty much more or less. And so the question is simply, are they going through? Yes or no? There's a little bit of action being made, but there's pretty much no information. 
And again, the attack over here as they're trying to push through the smoke. The problem is Brimstone is already there. No Misty way. gets the kill against Danny, though. Yeah, and here's the ult. Oh, good kill attempt. Tali comes in, gets the kill. Well done by him. Roxa is now rotating over, too, because it's only a three versus two. And again, pushed back. Viper really getting some solid value. I like it. Honestly, really like it. The patch changes to Viper apparently put her in a, in a position where teams are willing to experiment with Viper again. And the meta and the way that it develops starts to also take maps a lot more into consideration than it did previously. We're going through the box here, trying to go for the defuse. Uh, here's the wall. And that's honestly a pretty sexy wall here. That could actually be a defuse. Maybe not quite. He got close though. Everybody just rushed in. And yeah, there's the healing. Oh! <laughs> the kill! And they takes him down. And that's of course another win now for the attackers. Alright, four points against one. Good start. I like it. Really good game so far too. Kind of a fun one. So we're going to keep our eye on Danzy, but again, you look over to the kills here. Six kills from Velox alone. Boaster, he's going to be the uh, operator player, of course, for the team. And by now also has one, so Sova is going to utilize that. Look at the ults, by the way, that are available. Brimstone, you can call down a little bit of Hellfire over here. And we have also Breach to try and shut any kind of coordinated play down. But once again, co like shutting down the entrance. And very likely a wall is going to come out again. And actually, in this case, he lets it fall. Let's it slide. Oh, Next good kill, though. Roxa got some serious value. But now they're making their move. There's a rotation the coming from B, of minute. course, from behind. So they need to be quick with this one. But, yep, wall could be deployed. There's still the plan to be successfully executed. And now we have it. Toxins are a little bit low. Got the old too, by the way. So it could always go Poison's for off. a quick viper ult. Three versus three. We had a couple of rounds already where we were pretty much down to a two versus two or three versus three. And so far it has pretty successfully been taken by Fish. Three, four, five. Danzy. Jesus. Calm down, my friend. Nice kills from him once more. And they're going for the final hit here. Good angle. They're coming with all three. And Boaster is the one to take Danny down. But yeah, as they take the fifth round, let's take a quick look at those double kills. That was actually pretty nicely done by Danzia. Again, comes around the corner here, gets an easy headshot in over here. Good spray control too, goes down, gets the kill in for his team. That's a solid double kill for them. And that allows them, of course, now to take a pretty solid advantage. I mean, they're four points ahead now, heading into round seven of this. Yeah, and more and more ults available on their side too. Omenes is ult up. We got a Resurrect available through Sage. So that's good too. And again, the control over here. Like time and time again. Just controlling the entry point and pretty much denying the opponent to peek out and trying to get a kill or any information. And Viper alone, as you can see, is just having very, very good information there. Then again, there's the Breach ult. And with that, they get the kill. But it's trades after all. Boaster even getting another one against Sage. Ah, oh, good job by Danny though. So with that, we have a two versus two. <laughs> I kind of like this game, seriously. It's always just an e It feels like every single time that the initial action has been taken, we're looking at... Open up the sky. All right, ult is out. No kill, though. No kill, but at least the delay. Has been unfortunate that it didn't get any damage in. But there is a delay. Both coming through uh, CT now. CT spawn, so... Yeah, a little bit Plant is in. So far, so good for the attackers as they're trying to get the six point onto the board here. Danny is trying to move around. He needs to be careful. And gets taken apart by Wacko. Over here. Okay, there's the kill. Knows exactly where he is right now. Can reposition a little bit. It's going to be a one versus one duel between the two of them. There's the position. Fakes it once. Tries to move it again! <laughs> Wacko able to win the duel here. Kali just a little bit too late on the reaction. And the operator gets picked up too. Go dropped here. again for Sova. So Boaster has his op back in play. And Danzy again on Viper once more. Can just simply with the toxins control the entry point. Very, very good for the map here. Honestly, every single time I see... I, I've seen him play Viper now a few times, and especially on this map, and it really makes me want to pick Viper a little bit more. 
Haven't really played her all that much, but every single time I now see the plays and the way that he executes and holds really that particular angle, it's just fantastic. There's so much fake potential that you have here and just information that you get. Now he gets an assist and I think we have to point that out. If Ray's isn't there, there's always the danger of him getting eliminated. But it's just super cool. Look at the minimap of how much that covers. Like the, 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 the sheer amount of vision that you deny to your opponent that you can play around with. So four versus three now on the map and the defenders, as much as I focus here on the Viper play, have now taken two players down already. One of them being the Operator player. So Boaster was exactly eliminated. Right. And honestly, talking about eliminated, it seems like Wacko is in a bit of a spot where he could also be taken down here. And he's already poking a bit. Problem is he has now one on his right that he has no idea is there. And that is going to make this very, very tricky. <laughs> and it's an easy one. Well played by Roxa. Really well played. That's an easy double kill for him. And it was just beautiful. So first his ult forces them back. And now he gets the triple. So yeah, we're going to take another quick uh, look at that too. That was a great setup. So th he already got the double kill here. But then he just pokes around the corner. He has the control over the spike. Gets the quick peek in. Gets the kill. That's not only three kills. But they were also more or less. Uh, well, not maybe quite an eco round. But a thrifty victory here. For sure for them now too. Yeah. That's a nice that's a nice point. This is really an important one to take. You don't want the opponent to get too far away. Now we got Viper's ult still up, but also should probably highlight that we have Velox, who has been just dominating here too uh, for his team, that he has his ult up again. So you can go for the showstopper here. Viper again, similar play, wall is up, time and time again. It denies the vision and keeps him guessing. And now the defenders are actually stacking B, but it, you know the problem is it always could be a, fa uh, a fake. Good kill. One down, two down. Great play by them. Really good entry on B. Yeah. Ah, but that's the end on it. Kali comes in and takes him down. Oh, gets another one. Good. The defenders. Look at that. Wow. All of a sudden, a two versus two situation. Did I say exactly that? Every single time that we are looking at this, after the first engage, it's always a tie. It's always a tie. Oh, Booster with a big hit here. And again, there's one more up in play. Wall is up and there's a resurrection. Turning two versus two again. Oh, ho, ho. Mystic with a triple in total. Well done. The attackers with another win. And that's now seven points on the board. Very, very good performance by them here. I really like it. Good job. But a, a fun match in total. It's a little bit weird, honestly. If you look at the way that these rounds play out, the lead for the attackers doesn't really seem all that justified. But it's just towards the end when we have the individual players just popping off and already putting in the work. Ark and Loco is still waiting for his first kill, by the way. That's absolutely rough. Cybot has one, Arkin Loco has zero, that's always tough here. So yeah, I'm talking by the way about that, there's a kill of Booster comes in, gets one, gets two! Nice! Another day in the office for the Operator player. Clutching it, once more. Now, yeah, in this case he gets finally taken down. Rockstar, honestly, the Rockstar for his team. He's been just crushing it the entire time. Keep in mind that Velox has also his ult still up, gets a few hits in. Nicely done. That's already some serious damage. Can always use the hill. They're all stacking up in hookah. There's a bit of a wraparound from behind though. That could actually start to become a problem. Yep, there's the first. Ah, can't come in for the second one though. Which means we're looking again at a 2 versus 2 setup. <laughs> time and time again right here. Off we go. Yeah, Velox gets the kill against Danny, and that's honestly problematic. The only one that's still alive is Roxa, and yeah, he is just crushing it for the team. But can he really push this through against two? Oh, nice! Peeks out! Velox pays attention. They know he's likely coming from CT spawn, so uh, yeah. Gets the kill in. 8-2-2. Two, two. Big lead for them right now. Very big lead. Okay, so money is definitely still available for... Well, actually, they... I mean, okay, granted, they have at least the option to get themselves two rifles. But they need to make some compromises. Three, actually. All right. Pool the money a little bit. So we currently are looking at a Spectre, a Judge, two Phantoms, and a Vandal. Yeah, choke point control again, I suppose. 
playing a little bit slow over here. The one thing that surprises me, honestly, is that they didn't make a fake on uh, B happen just yet. Denies the vision, party time, checks it out, gets the kill in the corner. Nice, Velox, damn baby. Coming in with three kills together with the teammate. Gets another one, holy macaroni. Yeah, they're looking great. And the only man still standing is Sage. Yeah, no way. No way. And that's the kill. Mark it over. But yeah, let's take another look at this. At least a part of it. So he comes through here. Already got a few kills in. Pushes through the wall again. And then uh, the final kill after he flushes them out also. That's the kill in there. That was a great entry once more from Fish345. At least we tried again. They made it in the final here and they definitely did more than just try. But it just seems that right now when it comes to the finishing touches on the rounds, they are not really on the same level as Fish345. And yeah, Boaster, he was part of Absolute Legends beforehand. Operator player now, the main operator for the team here with Fish345. Whereas Carcass, as he pointed out, was playing a lot of the op rounds for Absolute Legends and still does obviously. The team's still incredibly strong. But this time they move on to on to A. And I pity I pity Breach. He's all alone right now. Alright, good reposition. Can catch the rotation. Kali's already down. And yep, that's a very, very good Welcome angle to hold for the Ult is also for used now from the Viper, but yeah, gets one, moves out, gets the boom board out, Velox gets another exactly. one. Nicely done and turns it around. Control short on A. And that's another win. Ten points. Half time is over. But yeah, we can take another look at this. Really good control here. Again, in, they know where they're coming from, right? They know they're rotating over. So he gets the first kill in, gets the boom board out, and is then able to make the rotation again for another kill. So nicely done by them. Sides obviously switched, so we have another pistol route coming up. Can take a quick look if armor is being bought there. Yeah, Wacko gets a light armor. Mystic is getting one too. And we see that mirrored by Roxa and Kali on the other side with Cypher and Breach. And Roxa in particular is someone that we have to watch out for there eventually. I'm gonna take a bit of a look. But Velux is currently sitting over here at the side. Also, apologies by the way, I won't be able to direct this particular round as well as previously because with the recent patch, unfortunately, there was also a bug introduced again into uh, the observer mode that we had previously. Riot fixed it and now they reintroduced it. You unfortunately cannot con like the hotkeys got completely scrambled. You can't control anymore which vision you no, you can't reliably control which vision you're looking at any longer. So I hope that they're fixing it soon because it always makes the second half a little bit of a weird one to observe. Official poster, he gets the first kill and he gets another one in. Uh, currently Velox just simply pushing through here. Trying to get a kill. Nobody's sitting in the corner, but here we go. Kali down, another one falls. Good job by Velox. He gets three kills for this round. That eliminates the entire attacking team. And that's another point now easily. That's actually 11 points. So they only need another two wins to win the grand final here. And take the number one spot in this tournament. Great performance by them so far. And a very well-deserved lead too. At least we tried. I don't really think that the score is quite fair to their performance. They had some fantastic rounds on the defender's side. But as I mentioned towards the end, it's always just the boss is doing just a little bit better. And Arkin Loco... Yeah, he's getting crushed a little bit over here. Zero kills for him. So... Don't know if he's a sub for the team or anything right now. But yeah, Roxa with the big... The big backpack here. Trying to carry for the team at this point. Putting the finishing touches and everything on play. I mean, for the Nice! Once again, really, really good smoke. Very tough to see through. Not impossible for the opponent's team, but this time he gets shut down. So yeah, job well done. Okay. Danny, the one to try and push through here. We still have a 3 versus 4. Omen is not moving in as well. And they're faking them out! They're faking them out! And there's the kill against Wacko. On the other side, yeah, Danny the only one who still stands there. Arkin Loco is actually trying to hold, hold spawn. Only got a frenzy, keep in mind, this is actually a bit of an eco round for them. Which makes it even more interesting. Alright, holds the corner. Go on the right side. Oh, ho, ho, there's the double! 
It took him a while, but he gets the two kills in. Well done. And that's the first point in the second half for them. Waits it out over here. Hears them coming. All the patience in the world doesn't peak. They come around the corner. And that's, of course, the easiest double kill in his entire life. Nicely done. Okay, 3 points to 11. The start of a comeback, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> well, at least it's an eco round now for Fish 3 for 5. So, uh, with all the SMGs in the hands of at least we tried, it's definitely a, a good chance that they get another one in here. But I really like the earlier idea of going full on shorty on the defender side and just letting the opponent push in for an eco round. That's not really a dumb idea. Yeah, only Roxa is over on uh, B. Everybody is stacking B, by the way. I mean, look on the minimap for the defender side. They have four players over there. The only one that is trying to hold at least Chowers on A is uh, Raze. And Raze might just get that kill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shorty time, baby. You guys are not the only one who can play around the shorty here. Cypher players are always, always fun, kind of at least. I mean, a Cypher player really is just like a selfie kid. The entire day you're just like staring into a camera or trying to get a good picture of yourself. Alright, quick peek over here. And trying to make the move now onto B. And with that kill over on A, the defenders are actually now all rotating over. Omen is the only poor soul that is currently sitting on B trying to defend this one. And that might not just work out for them. A little bit of a self flash. I don't think that that was nearly intentional. But look at the uh, Viper Ball again. Shutting down not only Hookah, but also the vision over C Long. That's really good. Didn't help them too much because they pretty much pushed through already as it was activated. But still an interesting one there to see. Yeah, Velux gets the kill against Kali. Oh, chaos ensues all of a sudden. And Danny Almost gets the kill. Cyber does too. That leaves ah. two versus two. And that's the last man standing for. Oh, Danzi gets a kill. Rosa goes down, one versus one, and he gets it! Nine hit points! Nine hit points, Danzy jumps over, and he comes in and gets the insta headshot connected. Point number four on the board. Oh baby, now we're talking. Now of course, this still was an eco round, but yeah. I mean, if you think about it, for Fish 345, it wasn't really all that bad. They lost the round, but they got four kills in and denied a lot of weapons to the opponent. And now Boaster is back on his operator. So they have the full buy available for themselves, so does the opponent. Actually, take flight. Check. Yeah, of course, Roxa. He still has an SMG here. All right, it's camera time. Enemy. Uh, there's only one. Yeah, so I wants to get the kill. All right, let's go. Does he get it? Doesn't get the kill and didn't really get a whole lot of damage Receiving connected area. there either. And that's still our semi smoke. Always annoying. And Velox already got the kill against Danny. Okay, so that's one down for the attackers as they're pushing in. There's the wall. That's a plan. That should be an easy plan for them right now. Yeah. Smoke all of that out. And he goes down, but he gets the plan. Good job though from uh, Reyes. That was well done. Yeah, vision denied. Get the kill. Push back. Omen gets it. All right. And the action over here. Ark and Loco. Tries to go for the Resurrect. Gets it through. Good for him. Two versus two situation. And he gets the kill too. He definitely woke up. Whatever happened in a half time, it definitely worked. So he took his cereals this morning after all. I was worried a little bit for him after the early round. And there they go. Five points against 11, ladies and gentlemen. All of a sudden, we have a bit of a game on our hands. Yeah, the comeback is real over here. Because that, you might have guessed it already, is another saving round, another eco round for Fish 345. <laughs> yeah. Good job here. Attacker's advantage, apparently, on this map as we are going into it. Yeah, good weaponry, a little bit of extra money. We have Wacko going for the Bucky. But outside of that, all that we see is Sheriffs. Actually, he gets rid of the Bucky and it's Sheriffs all around. So it's, it's a semi-buy for them. They're just calculating how much they need in the next round. Uh, a little bit of noise being made over here, but obviously it's more so B that we're looking at. They're still waiting for someone to peek out here, but so far nobody makes that move. It's more so C that the attack goes over. And yep, they're all starting to... about three of them are moving. There's the vision though. Good kill. Both stairs down. And the ultimate orb I is taken exactly as well. Where you are. The vision granted. Got the info. Danzy gets the kill against Cyborg. That's bad. 
Yeah, I don't think he got the. I don't think he got the, uh, the weapon. Yeah, but there's another kill. Jesus, Velox, calm the fuck down. They made the uh, play through the they teleporter, but that's a three versus three, and all of a sudden we have a couple of corpses on the map, and that means that weapons are lying around. So uh, the formerly helpless out. fish three four five are not all that helpless anymore. And wall is down. It gets destroyed pretty quickly. Cage triggered. Cage is triggered. Smoke is through though as well. Did he push through the cage? That's the next question. It doesn't really seem like it. Cage triggered. Triggers another one. Okay. There we go. And they're falling back. Yeah, they're trying to wrap around this time. Danny, he needs to be careful. Uh, they're saving. Did they all get weapons? They only got one weapon. Alright, they're still waiting to see if they can get one of the rotational kills. Bomb explosion any, any second. Teleporter for the rescue. And that's that. Okay, so they gave up on that one. They just said, like, that's, that's fine. Stole one weapon away. Helps them with the economy a little bit. Didn't try to push in too aggressively. And it's 6 to 11. Still a 5 point gap, but as I said, they've been closing it slowly but steadily. Now we got the operator for Bosta again full-on buys. The only difference really being that we have the light armor on uh, the Sova player with his op. So that's the only difference that we currently have. But yeah, there's of course the approach again. Ah, uh, Loka's gonna try and slow down on showers one more. And the ult is... Drone. Uh, drone comes in first. De -de -de. <laughs> All right. Triple Spore executed. There's the ult. Trying to flush them out over there. That didn't really happen. And here we go. Full on engage. But they're actually getting shot down here. Bosta is the one that they are going to down. That's a quick kill. Four versus five now. Good setup here again with the uh, Viper Smoke. And they're slowed down significantly. The thing is that Bosta isn't even, isn't even following. Okay, there's even more damage coming out. Just simply utility being used to rack them. That's two down. Two for two though, Roxa gets a few kills in, so again we're looking at the three versus three. Every time, seriously guys, I'm telling you, every single time we're looking at the setup. So they're all jumping through the teleporter again, but the problem is that the operator player is sitting right down here and gets the hit in! Right between the eyes, gets one, gets two, Boaster. Easy kills for him, and that's a win and a point on the board, and that puts us into the first match point right now. Nicely done. That was a good one for him. All right, so weapons, money, what do we have? Plenty, plenty on the side of the attackers to at least make sure that they can play this with all out weapons. Roxas is now sitting at 18 kills, eight kills ahead of the second highest in this game, in this team. Yeah, Mystic is an ass, man. If you just run up on, on race like that and you start crouching, world. you only do that for one reason, my friend. Now, nah, boosted him over, obviously. As I said, oftentimes what's a little bit better in boosting is not you trying to jump on someone that's crouched, but instead the pe person that crouches tries to uh, crouch underneath a player that jumps and is put into a corner. That's one of the most reliable ways currently to boost someone onto one of the structures over here. Uh, no kills yet. A little bit of a play through the showers. Uh, I'm not really coming into that yet. Still two over on uh, B. Smokes are being called down, and here comes the, uh, the onslaught. Onslaught through. Fire in the hole. Final, baby. Careful. Velox gets the kill against Cybot. Slowly the rotation is coming in. Velox goes down as well, but Waku gets Roxxon. That was an important kill. He's the top player for them. Official poster with the kill against Kali. Danny takes Waku down. Three versus two. Better position here for Fish 3, 4, 5. Are they going to make it? Are they going to be the one? Oh, what a beautiful kill again. And that could just be the end of it. Yeah, Ark and Loco takes Mystic down, but he still has two going up against him. Bomb is ticking. Time's working for him. And there's the kill, and that is game, ladies and gentlemen. Fish 3 for 5 with a victory as they take the first qualifier. Congratulations.